everyone and welcome back today we're going to be playing this very interesting niv mizzet supreme deck i haven't made very many changes i kind of defaulted back to it i did make a couple but then i had the idea what if i take the same list that we ran before and see whether or not that my matches were just a fluke that day or we can actually replicate it and do very very well this is a list that had previously hit mythic by some player i don't remember what it is now but it hit mythic originally in the first like three to four days and that's when mono red is kind of at its highest so it's a weird thing to say we're very, pretty vulnerable to red but yet people the same day were hitting mythic with this against all the red decks so what do we have and what are we trying to do our deck is primarily focused around i would argue two cards as much as i call it a niv mizzet deck but that is niv mizzet supreme and roxanne niv mizzet says flying hexproof from monocolored that means go for the throw, get lost. Any of those effects cannot really remove it. The only monocolored card that can technically get this off the battlefield, or there's two, is like a Shieldred's Edict or a Liliana of the Veil. I can't think of anything else right off the top of my head that's not like a Planeswalker outside of those two. But each instant sorcery card in your graveyard has two colors, that has two colors, as Jumpstart. Jumpstart is an older mechanic from Ravnica. But you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to playing it, paying its other's cost, and then you exile that card. So every spell in here that has two colors is able to be replayed if it is an instant or a sorcery. That being Assassin's Trophy, Pillars of the Bog, a Doppelgang, Ill Time, Urgent Necropo or Urgent This card. That card right there. Make your own luck, which is probably our high end value card, and that's roughly it you could argue oh can we play roxanne no that is not possible here i think i tried to do it in one of my games i tried to be a cheater and be like oh i'll just play this and play roxanne for my graveyard it's a two color spell so a little bit of an oopsie there but the other card that our deck revolves around is this card and it's the main focus of the deck for one reason outside of itself and that is it enters the battlefield create a tap colorless artifact token named meteorite it deals two damage on enter the battlefield and outside of that that is the main thing that we want from this because we want to combo that with doppelgangs doppelgang for each of x target permanents create x tokens that are copies of that permanent and it requires three x and simic being blue and green the main thing we want is to play roxanne and hopefully attack with it so we can have two meteorites on the battlefield including a roxanne that maybe survived that combat if not we might just doppelgang previous to this but if we can doppelgang with nine mana, which is very possible in our deck, and the Simic, so we need a total of 11, we can target Roxanne and two Meteorites, which will make three copies of Roxanne and six Meteorites right away. And then three more Roxannes entering will also make three more Meteorites for a total of nine. And then that'll be 18 damage coming in off of just Meteorites alone with the doppelgang. So that's kind of like the one-two punch of the deck in here. Outside of that, everything else is to ramp or survive. And that is pretty much everything in general. And outside of maybe, I guess, Beanstalk. Beanstalk is to draw cards, which you can argue is to stay alive. But yeah, we have the Lightning Helix for aggro. We have Assassin's Trophy if we absolutely need to. Pillage the Bog to find our combo pieces or whatever we need at the time. Ancient Cornucopia to gain life as we get it in play. It's very, very nice. We don't want too many copies of that because we prioritize playing Heap Harvest in that spot instead. This is to pull out some extra basics to make cards like our Leyline Binding good or our Herd Migration good if we have to hard cast this at some point. And then it gets our lands out so we can get a Traxa or get Niv in play early or often with kind of their mana restriction here. Obviously, their mana is a little bit tough. Mountain being the only difference between the two, plus the extra two mana that attracts a cost. But other than that, we use Make, our, make Your Own Luck because this card is sick. And that's all I'll hear of it. But... <laughs> Other than that, let's go ahead and hop into the games. I hope you all enjoy. And if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and we can go out there and truly test if this was a fluke the first time around or if we are truly good against the rest of the meta. Sure, I guess. All right. Thankfully, we draw a land that matters. I will. I kind of have to let it go, which is weird. I want, didn't mind the land, but. The way my hand is, I think I have to let it go. Sure. Could be a deck that we can potentially overrun, but it'll be a weird scenario. 
Um, I'm going to go for Helix on their turn. So if they want to counter it, that'll allow my Heap Harvest to get through. And it'll actually help me get to my game plan where I go get an island or a swamp or something. I mean, I'll take the wand for sure. Um, and that's one of the reasons we take the one. This is a significantly better lightning helix target. You just get the peek in my hand. You get a little peek. See, I have a Niv Mizzet Supreme in my deck. Yes. You didn't see nothing. Oh, they didn't see the rocks hand though. That's pretty sick for us. But this is going to come in and grab a swamp. I Actually, I should probably grab Island first. But if they make me ill time explosion, I'd much rather do that than maybe set up both these spells. Uh, speaking of making the ill time explosion, putting a Gix right into play didn't seem like the best move. Um, double land. What's better, Niv or Roxanne here? It's like Roxanne goes. Gildred's Edict's the only card in their deck outside of Liliana. I don't think it'd be. They missed a land, so that's why they went for this, by the way. We get both those gone. Play a Surveil land. I will take a Roxanne off the top. Seems good for me. They do have a demo field, so they can make me shuffle. But that's probably not what they're wanting to do on their turn. I have... I cannot play Niv next turn. Sure. They're going for land hard. But we're most likely playing land and rock sanding. There's a Gix. Now they have a decision to make with that. Siren is definitely not staying in play. Roxane. ETB. Fired off here. Because we know they're not hitting a land this turn. Um... We know we're going to go get a swamp here, so we'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. I would prefer not to be paused the entire game, the entire game. So we do that. And now Nev's even castable. We have blue, blue, red, white, black, green, and we can play Niv holding up whatever mana we need. And I think, oh, are they scared? Oh, they're a little afraid here. I think, I mean, they're holding up counter magic. Sure. Um, I can't stop that. That is, that is a okay with me, brother. Would you like to block? Sure. That is a okay with me, brother. Here's my Niv. I would like to uh, say go. Now we're looking for heap harvest to activate. Has hexproof against any monocolored spell. And yeah. <laughs> Go for the throat. Cannot remove that. Correct. You do it first. Very cool. Surveil first. Sure. We'll take about any lands. Huh? players are still real that's not that's not right right these players aren't real anymore right there's no way no way we found one i don't believe it uh we prefer to draw land right um Oh. I'm gonna try to find answers. Hey, I found Lance. Uh, this is why you lose arena games, by the way. Because this is what arena was about to do to me against Boros Convoke. So I will take the last card in Roxanne. <laughs> I have a herd migration to cycle, but we're gonna go for ill time explosion here and probably get rid of the herd migration. After I take like 14 here. Although. That sucks, actually. 
I will sack here. We're in a weird spot because I'd love the deadly cover up. Uh, blue, white, black. I guess I need a second black, but I put a black in my graveyard. I guess I have another one. Actually, I need double white, maybe? Is that how we want to go about this turn? Do I want to binding this and like helix one of those? I guess so. Or does ill time? Maybe it's just ill time, regardless. But I'd love the deadly cover up. So I can exile these. That's like the part where I'm like weirded out. I don't know. Um, I'm going to pass. I'm going to try. But actually, it might even be Leyline binding the war leaders call. And then cycle. Um, this one. Sure. Playing that into like more removal seems weird. Now I'm going to take two, three, four, five, six. Now gain some life here. Uh, do this, I guess. Um, I have double white. Probably need another red here. I need the swamp. What am I? I knew I needed the swamp. I'm so stupid. I literally did it last turn. I. <sighs> like so annoyed, dude. I'm like actually super annoyed now. Uh, discard two. It has to be at least five. So it's this and then. Here are these. I'm, I'm losing fool. What I wanted to do is I wanted to deadly cover up and exile these so they didn't just have them in the graveyard ready to go. If they use one now, I'm actually weirdly okay with that. I don't know if I agree with that, but sure. Yeah, I would have waited till next turn to use them both. But sure. Guess we play Roxanne here. Now it's, what do I shoot? Do I shoot the bat and then get this? Cause I can technically block both. And I have a second Roxanne, which can like answer this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my chances with the bat. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put an attraction. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna try for. Because this can use two, this can use the meteorite for two mana. So I have three damage in the air. And then I get to block the front liner, of course. I'm gonna pause. I don't know what that's for. Down to two, sure. Yeah. Um. Or is it like a safer route? I don't, I don't think they would have it get lost. I'm going to do something that I think might be a little safer, actually. Keep Tarvis. Um, cause these flyers aren't actually going to be there. Um, so we're going to play heap harvest. We're going to go get a land and we can sack it to gain three and then helix, which gives us six life. If I win this, I don't even deserve this win. I literally said I needed to go grab a swamp. And then I looked at my library and just had one of those, like, oh, I'm going to quickly grab something and just wasn't thinking at all. Now it is a one of, and their swamp is in here, but deadly cover up is a one of, so I'm not going to play towards it. Uh, let us go to combat and attack here, which does seem crazy, but this does answer one of these for us. And we have a helix for the second one. This hits. I'm just afraid that this is a get lost. I put in the tracks in play and I die to that. So I feel like this is a much better, like 
situational play, although I might get punished. Um, we're gonna do this now. We have the mana regardless for that. Um, we'll grab another white. Now I have a helix. Remember, we do have a bridge. Um, these creatures on the ground are fine. We have to answer the flyer though. We have one extra mana off of our meteor, right? We go up to eight. And there comes a warden, sure. And with that, I think we're fine. I will play this. You're probably like, wow, what a draw, but little do they know. We've oh, I have two deadly cover ups. I lied. We have more than one deadly cover up. I don't know why I thought it was just a one of. Um, at this point, I'll take herd migration. Here. Here. Uh, forest. They must have like a get loss is the only way I can imagine they're staying around here But we're just gonna stay alive here Play beanstalk we can cycle the herd migration with these or use another lightning helix, but they know about the helix So I don't I don't know But sure Here we are Yep, I can't imagine what we had in play was beatable, but Thankfully we get away. I think if correct play like in paper, I don't think I ever make that mistake, but on arena, I just kind of like saw the lands and the swamp was the farthest one back. And I just like, it didn't click. Oh, I need to grab my second swamp. Cause I thought I grabbed it already, but I don't know. Uh, yep. Shuffler is fine. I have three basics in my hand and four cards that none of my basics can cast. So we'll maul. And we'll find the other colors. Nice. Uh, return one card. If you gotta go. Worst. <laughs> Will it be fine? Will we be dead? It's possible we die. Okay. Forest, I think. No, I'm done. I think I have to fire this off now. Thankfully, we did. Um. Grab a helix. We have very small amount of time to get. Okay, we have a little bit more time than we previously just had. Well, um, I'm going to grab a red source and then we grab a swamp. Hopefully, I don't make the same mistake. Um, now now i should have grabbed a swamp maybe i made the same mistake who knows um we'll fire this off a little part of me wants to grab blue this ill time technically answers everything here but it could not answer everything next turn when my opponent plays a knight errand of use so i have to play for the deadly cover up i think and then play here and then hope i'm not dead um I uh, feel dead, but I don't think we are. Um, I guess counter will helix one of these. You need to have enough for deadly cover up to happen. I think in a situation like this, I I want to say hop two. It's the exile. Um, hop two. It's like the only way they kind of reload in my mind. Got to exile everything. Like hop two, it's like the scariest untouched card next turn, I think. Uh, offspring, play that. Yeah, it's pretty good. We'll take the other three and then graveyard. Obviously, it's already selected from the deadly cover up. We get the hops two, it's out. We still don't have a blue, but we have a heap harvest to find the blue. Um, we just have to hope not to die. So they did it correctly, I think. Yeah. Migration be pretty sick to find. Although, mm, double stride at the top, not fun for me. Now we'll find our island. We have a little more life to kind of play with. Plus, now we have this. Um, we'll pass. 
need to probably grab a couple of things here. I probably could have got rid of that first. What do we have? Toughness will come across as the same. So it's like weirdly that it doesn't matter. So like these will put counters places, but the toughness will like roughly be the same. Sure. These. Yeah. As you saw, like, those got way bigger, but they got way smaller because the Lord's gone. Um, red. I think red is what I thought was the best. Playline binding, sure. Let's fire this off. Maybe we'll hit a land. We do. Binding and helix, play land, make your own luck. Six across the board. All those are gone. They're left with a bat. Um, yeah. Ooh, do I have another blue? I can never remember the basics I have. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's tough. Um, but I didn't have another blue land to play regardless. So it's not like it mattered, I guess. Maybe I would have kept a little bit differently knowing that that was the situation. But, who knows? Maybe, maybe make your own luck here will be fine. Now they use that thing correctly. Very cool. Weird. We surveil first. So we know that one of our piles isn't going to be like that. I have a red, white, and available. And I have a green, black available, which is fine. Um, exile a card. Roxanne, you are not castable, correct? No. So I put you in exile then. The so land came in tapped. We beanstalk and hopefully hit a helix maybe. Second Roxanne, maybe not the best. Uh, Roxanne kind of gets countered with what's in play. Mm. No second blue, dude. It's only multicolored spells, right? No second blue, man. It's about to be the death of me. I uh, guess. Do I, have to... I don't know. I guess we can cast this first. All right. So that's trophy helps. Here. That makes sense. Yeah. Now it's cast Niv. We're using all basics, so it's as goodly played as it can be. Um, we'll play the second blue that we've needed for a while now, and Doppelgang is a way to win this game. So now I have Helix, and I have an Assassin's Trophy. So now we helix why we have the time we helix this and get rid of the commercial district And then we let them kind of spread their counters around we gain our life. We're up a little and then I'll pass We have an assassin's trophy Land tough hit for them tough hit for them indeed Uh sure um, I would like for Roxanne to be around this turn to let us pop this with the Assassin's Trophy and then we block here and then we probably let this damage just happen and then next turn next turn we get to go to combat and then we hit them for five six seven eight nine and then we cast doppelgang for what we have one two one two three for one one two three for two one two three for four um we make four copies of stuff so we just like copy meteorite and roxanne which will make eight meteorites and that will be enough to deal damage and win so very cool uh we go first very good hand 
Um, well, use good lightly here. It's an okay hand, actually. Um, I might need that to catch up, honestly. The one of, I, I can't keep it. As badly as I want to, I cannot keep that on top. I have to play land, I have to play beanstalk. Okay. Especially now, revealing that it's blue white, we definitely want to get beanstalk down. The only counter to us in blue white is obviously they have every single counter spell ever. Then, sure, I lose, dude. But is a Jace Mill. Could be Soul Partition here, by the way. We have the red for Roxanne, which is nice. So I'm going to opt to play an Archive. To surveil. I'm not really going to thin too much. Like, I'm not even opposed to taking Deadly Cover up to when I put Roxanne on the stack if I exile their counter spells. So I'm going to keep it. Pass my turn. If you ask me to play Doppelgang one more time, I literally can't play anything next. I would prefer not to play my Doppelgang. Thank you. What are we? Get lost. Okay. Sure. Now, Deadly Cover Up is good. So when we get to this Roxanne, when it gets countered, we might be able to counter or exile all their counter spells. Now, No More Lies, I don't really want to counter that. Sick. I much, I much rather counter. I, I keep saying counter. With their counter spell, I much rather get rid of the three steps ahead than the no more lies because that counter spell no longer becomes relevant as the game goes on. Wow, that was a tough, that was a tough verbiage act for me. We do play around no more lies though by having our three mana open. Another beanstalk. They were already concerned about it last turn. They missed the land drop a couple of times. I didn't play any extra mana. Like I didn't have any extra land drops to play. Sure. Maybe we have to use this three steps ahead to draw a card. Discard. Or they have another gift. It's okay. I believe you, opponent. I believe you. I believe you had to do that. This is a tap land, so they did draw a land. But that does mean they have, like, spells... Queued up and ready. Oh, Helix. Now we're just sitting here in the, like, uh, land waiting room. We're not going to be able to play around this regardless, so let's fire it off. If it sticks, fantastic. If it doesn't, which it most likely will not. Uh, yeah, there's no more lies. Still hit our land. I will take that so I can play an Atraxa next turn. Force them to counter that, because obviously Atraxa has got to be answered. Now, I did leave on top, so they could demo field. As they demo field, it kind of represents that they're light on counter magic. But, um, hopefully it's not a no more lines, but if it is, it is. I would like it to be a three steps ahead. They get a full counter to draw to and a discard to here. But, maybe it resolves? Oh, it resolves. Very sick. Nice memory to lose. <laughs> oh man. Isn't it crazy? Um sorcery sorcery. Make your own luck is good. It is a card that wins the game. So many creatures. We take this, we take this. I'll just take an untap land here at this point. Roxanne or Niv. I guess Niv is like the better of the two. But I have Doppelgang, so Roxanne actually functions a little. Uh, it might be Niv. It might just be Niv here. Discard a card. I guess at this point, I will discard this archive. And now, will we see them just sunfall my Traxa? Um, we obviously get through a combat, and then they'll remove it, because they'll have to. It's like not a thing that they can just leave around. Um... At least I can't imagine. And then we get options with the make your own luck. Or because the gates are open, we like heaped harvest. And then we can make your own luck. Which is pretty sweet. Obviously deadly cover up. I wanted to hit the three steps ahead, but. Yep. My opponent acting as though they're not going to remove this tracks during combat. I could activate these, but I already have so many cards in hand and make your own luck. So you want to put more cards in hand. 
and my attracts is 100% getting removed here. Get lost. No. Here. We play around, no more lies. We cast Make Your Own Luck. And then we cast the Heap Harvest. I guess I'll exile that. Sure. I mean, it's a good card to have to come off the top for free, right? Like, it's not the worst thing. But I feel like I'm running out of basics quickly. And that is because I am. But it is making Doppelgang good. If I ever get a Roxanne in and know it's free to, like, fire off the Doppelgang. Um... We have plenty of spells. Make your own luck. It's kind of the way we do it. Now, Jace, we talked about this. Honestly, if it's a minus two, we helix it, and then we deadly cover up exile him. Okay. That's what they're going for. I am down to just deadly cover up and exile them all. Because, honestly, main reason that I hate this card because it's the epitome of, wow, nothing's going right. Hopefully I can double Jace and get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels so bad to me. Like as a pl not that the plan is bad. As a player, it just feels bad losing to that. When you're like, we were playing this game and then you're just like, exile him. We have the mana to pay. And now we're gonna exile the Jaces. As you could imagine, they had another one. And they're four in deck. Uh, they do play four, three steps ahead. They only have two more, no more lies. Their hand is just removal and they were going to try to win with the Jaces. Sure. So we know that we're fully open to Niv. And I'm going to. This has Hexproof from Monocolored. If they ripped a no more lies, I was going to throw up. Um, I'm going to set up for a card here. I'm looking for, I guess I could have looked. I look in my graveyard. One. I do have rock sands somewhere. I guess worst case I can play it for my. Then exile because I exiled it earlier like an idiot. Um, yeah. So the thing about Niv is you can't remove it with any of those. Hexproof proof from monocolored is quite, uh, quite annoying. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> um, what's the plan? This? This hits a land, I'll be baffled. All right, I'll just take it to grow my Niv. I can't even operate my hand at this point. So we can shuffle it away with the heap harvest. This one? My, uh, my Niv is now a 9-9. Nine nine. Because at no point did they thought temporary lockdowning my board was a good idea. I would like to move to combat. I'd like to swing my Niv. I'd like to hit you for 9. Okay. Um, I have two Helixes available. Can I make a third one available? I have red, red, white, white, and white. I can technically check. I actually have it. Oh, we do. Um, Niv doesn't care when we do it. We just wait. Um, I don't know if you can tell what my hand is or what my hand isn't. Uh, if they go for a uh, removal of my white source, I'm just going to helix them. Um, because I also have another one in hand. Um, I guess they did the only one that didn't matter. Um, discard a herd migration. Helix you. Helix you. Do we get three helixes in a row? I think so. 
I, I'll get rid of the deadly cover ups at this point. You have no more lies? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Uh, yeah. Sure. Are they planes? Now they could sunfall me, but then I just helix them. Like I have it kind of covered. Doesn't really matter. With the Jace is gone, I have nothing to worry about. And there's a land. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, that's the epitome of the game where it's like my opponent was just hoping that double Jace would bail them out. Um, but we get the win regardless. Very cool. Alright, we go first. We have Bean Beans, Harvest, Leyline. I mean I this is like the epitome of a domain hand that we love to see. We'll take about any land at this point. Um, this is also blue green. This is white black. So like our mana is a little bit weird for our ley line binding. Um, it makes me want to kind of play one of these tap lands, but I can always do it next turn. There's a bean stock to get the herd. Now we have island. We have swamp. We just it's just a matter of time of getting it in. Is this combo? Okay. There's Luna. So we can technically go way over the top of combo. It's just whether or not we get there. I'll take that and I'll play the beans and I'll draw it. Um, we just have to get the Roxanne in the doppelgang plan. Because Roxanne more likely is just going to be fine. We just have to make sure that... The squirming emergence doesn't just kill us. We get a top three, sure. We might even be binding this. So they get like way less value off of a card. Yeah, I think that's the plan to be honest. Uh I could play this. Green and green. And then we play this. Rather go get the ramp and acceleration down now. For one mana, I'm a little curious what it could be. I don't know what it would be. It's a swamp, correct? Yes. Binding. Double draw here. Uh, we're definitely going to be looking for that doppelgang. Even the board wipe would be nice against this matchup. Because then we can exile slash surgical things out. We get rid of this so they don't get the mill, hopefully. Um now they could they could bounce it into the flood mole to bounce it, yeah. But next turn we're looking to play Roxanne. Squirming can now bring this back. Unlucky. Unlucker. Yeah, highlight it. Mm hmm. Thankfully, they only hit one other land. But regardless, it's a good day for them. That's a huge creature. I'll take my one. Harvest it. There's a Niv. Niv is cool. I think I'm kind of on the rocks and plan at this point, or find deadly cover up plan. That land can go. So I'll always be able to like cycle this herd migration and then go that route if I need to. Make your own luck. Assassin's Trophy's also fine ish. Bouncing this. Okay. Here. Um, I guess I'll get rid of the herd migration in case I find the spell. But. Yeah, a lot of spells in there now. So the Squirming Emergence isn't quite as good with all the permanents in play, but Assassin's Trophy is available. Sure. Yeah, you can get my rocks in if you'd like. Taking a big chunk of damage. Yeah, that's fine. Um, honestly, it's probably gonna be play land, pillage the bog, and then try to surgical like the uh, creatures out. But 
They're gonna go find another squirming emergence off this cruel Tigix, and then I'm in a lot of trouble. I think. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You have to go get a land first. Make your permanents a little bit bigger in your graveyard. The squirming is now up to five. Interesting. Attack too. Just enters. Okay. I take a big old chunk. Now they could have counter spell, and the game doesn't matter anymore. But the way they were kind of playing implies that they don't have counter spell. Get rid of that. I'd like to do this. I miss. Okay. Oh boy. I mean, I hit a ley line binding, so I guess I don't miss, but I missed. You know, it's like one of those weird things where you don't technically miss, but you do. Um, I have to kind of pass here. Yeah, because we have to remove this on their turn. I guess I could have done it on their upkeep, but let's see what they tutor out. It's probably in a tracks, if I had to guess. Um. I can't imagine another squirming. Could be another founding, I guess. But who knows? We should be able to stall this game out pretty much as long as they don't go super overwhelming. We have a green and a black available for the SAS trophy. I should have done this before they tutored, but I thought they would change what they tutored. And I think counter spells from versions I've seen in this deck, they don't really play counter spells. They could bounce this in response, but then I have another white mana to like replay it. And then that's just allowing me to keep drawing spell, like cheap drawing cards. So bouncing this doesn't technically work that well. Interesting that they got pot. Why did I have to stop on their upkeep? Yeah, bean stocks are good. Any boys are good. Uh, what's the plan? Uh huh. You have an answer for that, too. That's his trophy. One of the weird cards that can destroy literally anything. It can even destroy land. It's not a creature. That's trophy is actually really sick. It's just kind of weird how two mana literally destroy anything is bad. <laughs> and, and like, our best of one client but we're still in combat i don't know what's happening okay so this is to put the attracts in the yard okay interesting and there's the emergence i'm gonna go ahead and tutor now cool Get that, get the deck thinned, grab another swamp, you know, we don't know when we're going to have to do the crazy stuff. Another squirming. <laughs> okay. Now, realistically, we're going to see a tracks, a bitter triumph, uh, worming, I guess. And then a land, which is like, makes sense. But if I find the deadly cover up, like we know we can. Uh, blue, green, green. How are you going to tap? You're going to try to double tap, double black here. I would rather that. And then like one black. Take my two draws. We could have surveilled first. There's a Niv. Okay. All right, sweet. We'll put a Traxa in that spot. And then I can now deadly cover up. Do this one. Get rid of Niv. I guess just a herd migration is fine. And then we'll double draw. And then we can exile these Atraxes. I'll take this one. Yes. Normally you'll get rid of the Squirming Emergence, but this is the card I thought I couldn't be. And there is a Jace. 
So we do actually have to worry about that. And knowing my opponent and how good my opponents are, he'll draw the Jace like immediately here. So at some point, I actually do have to win this game. Who would have thought? This card, three cards. Heaped, Beanstalk. Heaped, I guess. I am at 27, so one Jace doesn't technically just get it done here. But um, they do have Jace squirming emergence. So it can do it. And they can also cruelty go tutor it away. Oh, you get my nip. Interesting. I can stack this like plays no monocolored spells. Like, Reanimating this nip just seems a little weird. I get it though. We're looking to get this back. Honestly, you could cast that, pitch a card, uh, pick up that leyline binding, and then go from there. Because then you'll get your Bruna back and then you'll go to what infinite mana At that point The line body can't get niv though. It's true Uh, They just do discard sure. I'll take it Looking for Jace, there's no other there's no other card they should look for I still don't know if I can eventually beat Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem. I don't think I can get there to beat it. Uh, at this point, I'll get rid of the Beanstalk, actually. I don't need to draw any more cards. They're kind of letting me out by doing that. But whether they think this is that or not, I don't know. Now they have squirming. I could technically niv their thing. They have multiple squirming emergence. And they hit another one of these, which should just be their bring back. But hopefully they use the one in hand. Um I will get rid of the heaped harvest, because like at the same time bean stocks are good. That's like the third whale in a row. And they didn't bounce the binding when I had nothing going that way. And now they don't have a, another blue. <laughs> Arena made them pass their turn. <laughs> nice. Um, I will, I will start with my turn with an attractor. I don't think Jace got put in there at any point. No. Honestly, I know I'm losing attractor. I'm going for the second deadly cover up so I can take away their squirming emergence at this point. Tracks is still gonna look. Um, I'll take this. Let's take a untap land. I'll take a rock sand. I'll take a cornucopia. Um, play land. Play this. Uh, it should be like my entire library. Um. All right. Now what am I doing? Um. Guess it's just this again. Discover. Um, heap and heap. Uh, now we take the squirming emergence. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, one's exile because they used it. Okay. Sure. sure. Cornucopia. Um, pass. And I could binding this. Could target me, yeah. yeah. That's tough. I still have a hit the doppelganger. It's interesting. But they just ripped Jace. I guess I lose. That's tough to think about. I probably am supposed to binding. The founding. It's just hard to do that. What do we got, dude? Um, would that work? I could technically rocks hand play Niv. They don't have a board wipe. And then if they mill me, I can doppelgang and suplex them. So I cannot play a beanstalk. 
by any stretch. Okay. Um, they just play a one, three flyer. All right, cool. What we got going on? Can I bring back your Jace? That would be cool. Um, I don't really want to binding this founding, but I think I have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got another one. Get this. You can remove these if you can. I don't know. Double helixes. And Roxanne is available. Okay. I will gain my five. Up to 17. Um. Guess I can go get Doppelgang. I can just pillage the bog and go get it. I can also do that next turn. I guess so, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll have to do that with him. Do on the dome. It's like this makes two mana. Uh, surveil here. Unless I just draw the doppelganger, that would be sick. You have to keep the last card though. It's like weird because technically, if they hit Jace, it's fifteen. So no matter what this card is, we actually had to keep it on top. We can't surveil it away because we'll get milled for fifteen. We'll keep our one little menace. Uh, they could have into the flood mall though When I go to target, we don't know what their last card is um, But yeah I guess No, I did two so they've been at 12 could I have nived and then quad helix? I don't think so Quad helix requires eight mana. Yeah, no, I wouldn't even have the mana colors, right? But here's a prankster Hey, there's a there's that that can bounce Niv. It does work. Is that really where we're at in this game? Bounce Niv, then Roxanne attacks. Or they can bounce Niv do this. They only need a certain amount of turns now. Or do they answer Roxanne? Either way, they end up at eight. <laughs> Then five, one, and then I need six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. We kind of have enough mana to do it regardless of what they do. I guess I have eight damage in my hand if Roxanne gets to attack. Um, because it'll make a meteorite. Roxanne number two entering will make a meteorite. And then I can double helix. What they bring back foundation. I mean, I'm getting rid of the beanstalk. Uh, we got hit with a whale for the fourth time. Oh, did you get the thing? That's crazy if they did. We're in combat. Did we got a second main just to hit me with the Jace. I have four cards. Put the Jace on the stack if you have it. Please. don't have the double blue, so it has to be Phyrexian, if that's the case. Yeah. Jason, yeah, there a bottom card. Are we both looking for our last card to win the game? This is, this is absurd. We end up hitting a basic regardless. Um. That's land. I would like to move the combat. Double attack. Make a meteorite. Goes upstairs, of course. And now we have like the win in multiple ways. Get us four hits, and now we can we can like triple helix them. Um, I don't know if there's a way they have to gain life, but I'm just gonna go for helixes. As much as it sucks, I would have liked to done like the doppelgang plan, like tutor for it and grab it. But 
We can also just win the game. We'll do a helix from here. And then we have two more helixes available. And it doesn't really matter what happens from here. Very cool. Very cool. What a what a grindy game. That's, the only, that's honestly one of the biggest downsides of this deck is it. It's a lot of playing to get one point. Like that's kind of one of the reasons people play mono red is you don't have to play near as long. But it is what it is. All right, here we are, and we just ran it back as it was. I talked about this deck a little while ago, and I kind of went on edge, and I was like, you know, this deck feels weirdly really good, and it feels like it can pretty much outgrind in any situation. One of our vulnerabilities being a Jace Mill plan. As you can see, I've been I was incredibly worried about it in multiple games in today's video. But overall, it did well for me again. I'm not saying it doesn't struggle against Mono Red, because it can. And it most definitely will. However, I don't know about anybody else, but every I've been making decks like ready to queue up against red. And I feel like the general consensus is like a lot of people haven't been playing red as much. And it's that weird time in the ladder where like everybody's running in the red. Now everybody's sick of red and they don't want to play red. And it's just, I don't know, it's weird. Um, obviously, we have to have Helix kind of to start the game or like a Leyline Binding kind of on that weird turn three. It can, it cannot do it on turn two. I don't think there's a way to do it on turn two. But realistically, we have to kind of have a Helix or a Beanstalk that leads into something. Because at the end of the day, this is my thought process. If my opponent has turn three lethal with mono red they just have it there's not a whole lot you can do to stop it regardless right so let's say my opponent plays a thing on two whatever i play land i hold up a cut down and then or i cut down it and then they just play another creature and pump it to oblivion there's nothing i can do about it if they kill me on turn three red is so good and best of one that i would rather try to take my chances and go roughly 50 50 with it or like slightly negative, but be significantly favored against every other deck in the meta. It's kind of the focus of this deck. You are either playing against red and you're queuing up hoping to play against a slash bunny slash invoke, which bunnies and mono red or the Boros mice. It's basically a mono red deck with that flings. Like you're either playing to beat those strictly and then you're soft to like the control decks and things. Or you try to play against the other entire half of the field combined and you try to win that way. And that is what we kind of opt for here. And a lot can be said. A lot of life can be gained in this deck. We have obviously helixes that we need for removal. I understand that. We have bindings, which is also removal. Eight cards in the top three-ish. Plus our opening. So in the top ten, are we going to have one? More often than not, yes. And then we have a herd migration to gain a little life. And then we have Assassin's Trophy. If we need it, it's not the best answer against Mono Red, but it is a answer. So we have one more answer. And then Heap Harvest can also gain life. These aren't necessarily answers, but these can all gain life in those matchups. And if we do get kind of into the game and we get to that turn four and five, we do turn the corner very aggressively against Mono Red and can punish them and get to the point that we put a Niv in play and now we're holding up Helixes and they can't do anything about it. So... It's a very weird game against them. But I think against everything else, as you'll see in today's video, I we're so kind of good and resilient. Even my like massive mistake earlier, um, we end up crawling out of because I think this deck can be resilient. And if you really want to fix it, uh, we have a lot of options. You can put cut downs in here. You can put get lost in here. That's the best part about playing all these. If you're like unable to come out on top against the boros deck you can even go ahead and put like terra sunders in this deck there's a lot of cards you can add when you are playing like a four or five color deck so don't be afraid to do that if you feel like the curve's too high this is definitely more of a meta call when mono red lightens up you play this version if it's not lighting up you know maybe we're trimming on nivs adding some extra early game removal that we can use on turn two whether that's go for the throws cut downs get lost uh any type of attacking exile effect uh we don't really want to play the one that cares about planes, I guess. But we can do the one uh, Elspeth Smite instead of Laydown Arms. We can play Elspeth Smites so we can exile stuff and things like that. And go from there, you know. It's going to be a tough situation regardless, but it works out overall a lot of times. And honestly, the worst part of the deck that I have felt 
is the fact of kind of having too many basics in the opener and the mana being really weird because it obviously is pretty hard it is like the awkward situation where we want to play a line binding but if we can find a better removal <clears throat> the one mana white spell from the new set that's one mana instant speed destroy creature that dreads up a 2-2 i'm sorry i will kill a 12-12 and give them a 2-2 any day of the week but one mana just remove it permanently and then we get to play the new lands that makes this mana base a lot more clean and we don't necessarily require the fact that we have to have domain in the deck anymore so we can become this like really strong golgari shell that leads into a niv mizzet because niv mizzet will take all the lands it doesn't really care that much so uh, all these tap lands become a little bit easier on us with that said i enjoy playing this deck this deck is more of a fun deck to me than it is like if i had to play a best of one tournament for my life would i submit this i'm not sure but it is a little interesting to say because obviously best of one tournaments are weird um if i never play against red i'm gonna be happy i submitted it but if i play against red i might be sad i submitted it but with that said i hope you all enjoyed regardless and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye